Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Latricia Simone, and today I am here to tell you about this hair. So if you're interested in knowing what company sent me this hair, then just stay tuned. Okay, so let's chat. This hair is from a company called Ally Julia Hair. I um, did a unboxing video on this wig, so you will be able to see exactly what it looks like coming straight out of the packaging. If you haven't seen that video, don't stop looking at this one just yet, but I will put the link to that one in the description bar below so that after you're finished watching this one, you can go check out that one because I'm sure you want to see what the hair looked like prior to it looking like this because I'm, let me just tell y'all what happened. So, I bragged on myself so much about saying how bleaching the knots is so easy and blah, blah, blah. Well, prior to this wig, it was easy for me. However, when I bleached the knots for this wig, y'all, the bleach went through the unit and dyed some of my hair. So, I had to make it work because I did not feel like going to the store buying any black dye in order to basically fix the spots that had messed up, right? So, what I did was is I just ran bleach throughout. I ran bleach throughout the whole part up here. So, basically, this part is jet black. This is what that hair actually looked like as far as the color is concerned. And then this part up here, y'all, is just all me. So these are baby hairs that came with the wig. I did not cut any baby hairs in this unit. It came completely like this. The only thing that I did, and then I can say that I did, was I thinned the hairline out a lot. The hairline was really, really thick. Because at first, and I'm going to take this down for y'all. At first, I wanted to wear it down right but i wanted the curls to be exactly how they were well as we know when we have hair or i don't know if this is just me but i got scissor happy and i started cutting 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 and i cut 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 and cut 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 too short 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 and uh it yeah it ended up turning out to be too short so oh i got a pen on here so I ended up putting it in an infamous bun. And this hair looks so real, y'all. Like this hair looks like a natural curly head. And that's exactly what I wanted. It was a natural curly head. And so I had been wearing my hair just like, not like this, of course, because I look crazy. But I have been wearing, look at that hairline now. <laughs> y'all can't tell me ah, that the hairline don't look bomb.com. So I've been wearing my hair in a little bun. So of course I got bun hair, bun head, but I've been wearing it dry. I just went and wet this up and I wet this part up with mousse and a little bit of leave-in conditioner and the curls kind of stay like this throughout the day, okay? Because the mousse makes it hard and it actually, um, it keeps the curl in longer from my, from my, um, for my finds and you can use any mousse you want i'm trying to get it to lay down for y'all so y'all can see but it's not working you can use any mousse you want i use pantene in order to do my hair um just because i like how it feels afterwards it's not like really really super crunchy and you can actually change your style and you can manipulate your style after that um but yes this is what the hair looks like the hair is 10 inches I actually cut the front because it was like some of the front was longer than the back and I wasn't really sure if they tried to make a curly bob or whatever. So I just went ahead and kind of chopped it up and made the sides even. Um, and this is where I cut too short. If y'all can see. Oh, I got another clip in here. That's why. Y'all, I got clips everywhere. Bobby pins. Okay, so... Yeah, so I cut the top too short because I wanted it. At first, I was going to do like a, um, I was going to do a, like a comb over look or whatever. And it didn't necessarily work out like that. So I went ahead and cut it. And this is what I got. This is what the hair looks like dry. This is what the hair looks like wet. So just imagine me wetting all this up and it looking like the back which I think is really, really cute. I wanted something that was cute, curly, and simple, and easy. 
and y'all this is so freaking easy so easy you can wear it up you can wear it down it is a full lace wig so it does have the lace in the back so if you wanted to if you wanted to wear it up in a ponytail you definitely could do that i'm not wearing it in a ponytail because it is short and i really don't wear my hair and um i really don't pull my wigs up anyways if i you know unless they get like really really i keep looking here unless they get like really really old then that's the only time i do it but yes i am loving this hair y'all can see the color change now from here to here this is where i messed up this is where i fixed it and i'm still rocking it and it just kind of looks like i just dyed this whole thing and just left this part black which is exactly what i was going for so all in all for this wig i would have to give it a one out of five i would have to give this wig a i would give this wig a 3.5 and i'm gonna tell you why i would give it a 3.5 i would give it a 3.5 because i had to really work with it to get it to do what i wanted to do um the hair was a little bit longer in the front as opposed to the back um they said 10 inches to stretch if and see i didn't cut any of this 10 inches to stretch you can't really see it but maybe that's 10 inches to stretch but it's just like we're not gonna be wearing our hair straight if we wanted straight hair we would have just gotten straight hair so um so for the short the lo the length at the front um Mm, the hairline is <laughs> the hairline looks so good y'all i did a good job i normally don't pluck i normally don't pluck my um i normally don't pluck my uh my units at all for real but i pluck this one to pieces so if i was to rate this wig compared to some of my other wigs i would probably have to give this one a four and the only reason i gave it a four instead of a five is because the there were some long pieces in the front that were way longer than the actual wig and and that's really it i mean that's really it i mean this is a very affordable wig this is very easy i'm taking this this is going to be my vacation hair so I will be taking this on the road with me. I will be having vlogs about where I'm going and what we'll be doing. So definitely stay tuned for that whenever I get back. So yeah, that is the look. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Let me know if you've ever ordered hair from Alia Julia before. Alia Julia. Ali Julia hair before. Um, leave yours in the comments below. Let me know if they did you right or if they didn't. Is it a hit? or a miss if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you turn that notification bell on so that you know when i'm uploading next so until then i will see you in my next video Deuces.